It's been a while since I've done just a Python tutorial, so we're going to be looking at Python today, and we're going to be looking at the date time module here. So uh, let's uh, first start off just by going into Python, by typing Python, and uh, we're going to have to import date time. So import date time, all one word there. And at this point, uh, we can create an object. We'll just call it today but you can call it basically whatever you want. And we're gonna say uh, from date time, we're gonna use the date function, and we're gonna say today, uh, and parentheses there. So now uh, the object or is equal to what today's date is. So we can say print today, and it will show us today's date. Or we can say print, and then print say today, is parentheses comma and then that object of today and it says today is and it gives the date. Um, another thing we can look at we can uh, see what tomorrow is so um, one way we can do that is we're gonna set another object we're gonna call this one day equals date time dot time delta and then parentheses say days equals one. So this, this object is going to equal one days of amount of time. We can set two, three, four, five, whatever. And now we can say print tomorrow is comma today plus our object of one day and we get tomorrow is and we'll give tomorrow's date. See today's the fifth, tomorrow is the sixth. If we didn't do the plus we would just say days and you can see tomorrow is one day and that many hours. So that's what one day is equal to. So if we do print one day you can see it's equal to one day and zero hours. We're not going to get too much into the time functions here. We're just going to be looking at mostly date stuff here. Um, let's look at another way of uh, displaying. Because right now, if we say print today, it shows it in that format of year, dash month, dash day. And let's say we want it to display in a different format. One way we can do it is we can say print today and we're going to do dot string whoops str so string f I'm guessing string format tell me if I'm right or wrong if you know time and what we're going to do is inside uh, these parentheses we are going to uh, go percent m forward slash percent d forward slash percent capital Y and then close our our quotations and parentheses and what this says is show it in the format of month day year and with the lines in between so oh what did I do wrong here now why would the D oh I put a dollar sign instead of percent percent there we go so now you can see the format. we can also I believe say in here today is and there we go we have that printed out there uh, there are other options in there so we got uh, month day year uh, let's try these are a few other variables you can throw in there percent a percent b percent d percent uh, m and uh, these are this is a capital m uh, percent a, oh so you can tell the bash is coming out in me when using the dollar signs there percent s percent p percent y I'll hit enter there and you can see that a is the name of the day of the week b is the month printed out and we got the lowercase d is day and we got a few other options here that's am or pm and the year but just the uh, it's lowercase y so it's just the last two digits um, one last thing we want to look at is the difference between two days so let's set a object variable at, for Christmas will say Xmas equals date time 
dot date and we'll set what we want the date to equal we'll say this year 2010 comma the 12th month and it's the 25th day we'll hit enter there so if we print Xmas it shows it in that format so that we set that as a date and that's the date there uh, we can now s set another object variable uh, diff equals Xmas minus today so diff now equals the difference between Christmas and today so I can print out diff and you can see 142 days and zero hours because we didn't calculate into the time into the factor. Uh, so I can also say print diff comma and then quotations until Christmas. And you can see we have 142 days until Christmas. So that's a quick look at the date time uh, options within Python. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.